What the fuck is cracking everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make the world's simplest, crudest, lamest, easiest, like whatever you can call easy, but very crude, like I'm talking about like hoo, 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 caveman style. Yep. Anyway, so these shells require only a piece of like 2x8 or 6 or whatever you want to use, depending on your width of your shell from the home center, like Lowe's and Home Depot, and uh, some little brackets, we're just going to screw those thingies into the wall with some drywall screws, or you can just stick them in the stud for extra strength, but uh, anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video, we'll show you how to make the cheapest, easiest shells, uh, it really is all about the finish, so I hope you like this video. Alright, this is what you're going to need, this is all that you're going to need. This is literally like the crudest, you know, teenage, money-saving, like, crude, I don't, I don't even know, like, cheap skate, jerry-rigged way to make a shelf, but this, I doesn't bother, that doesn't really faze me at all, because you are going to see these when it's finished, but it doesn't really bother me, because I'm going to paint them uh, black, and it's all going to blend, and it's all going to look fine. Uh, so yeah, you can find these at like Lowe's, Home Depot, just go to the hardware uh, section, or even, they sometimes have like a framing area, that's where I got these from, it's like, it's, these are for framing, so, put those aside, put them, them out of the way, alright, anyways, um, also, these, you need some drywall anchors, uh, or you could screw it right into the studs, but, you know, um, my, my studs are, this house is old, so they're like, there's metal studs in the wall, and, the contractor or whatever who built it seemed to have just like, you know, put them wherever he damn well pleased, so it's kind of annoying, but this is kind of to happen, but I just have to live with that, you know? Um, so yeah, the drywall anchors, that's gonna be a must. Uh, I get the heavy duty, I got the heavy duty one. Just because, you know, it's, it's so bad, that's that. Also, so this project is really only gonna, this is literally like, this, I've already cut these boards down. These boards already had these. Uh, cut down. These are about two feet long uh, pine. It's just a regular old, you know, uh, two by eight, two by eight, yeah, two by eight that I got at the home center. But th this, these, just make sure you get one that's straight so you can uh, turn it on as the, and see if it's straight like that. So that's pretty important because otherwise your shelf's gonna be all walk out of whack. You know that? You know that's no good, right? And um, see, I'm gonna be putting this. I'm going to stain it and then varnish it. You know, I know that this is not the right varnish, but I don't care because it's what I have. Um, spar your thing if you're interested. I just kind of like how it comes out. And you know, I don't have anything else, so that's what I'm going to use. And so I'll just do it. Um, and I'm also going to paint the stuff black. I mean, you don't have to go buy all this stuff. I already had pretty much all of that. And this is just extra wood. The only thing I had to buy was this. And that's, that's, that's literally it. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this down and then I'll show you how it's going to get constructed in the Oh, also don't forget your basic tools like the saw or whatever and the drill. I mean, I'm just using a miter saw, but you could literally use a hand saw because it's not going to be that many cuts. Or you could literally just use any kind of saw that will cut wood. Um, you can even karate kick it. That's not going to work. Don't do that. Almost forgot. Trim router. hardware right here so I've got this right here um, I just measured in one and a half inches and then I went ahead and marked two holes for this right here so yeah 
I think I'm just gonna use two from the top, okay, I don't know, if, uh, yeah, be easy that way, I kinda like the look of that, yep, Um, so, I set up a little quick tape, you can set up some garbage bags on here, put some little pieces of wood on the outside so they don't, so that ends don't fly over and ruin your little standing experience, it's ruin your standing process. Anyways, so yeah, I'll get that, I'm gonna put some little, put bottle caps in so that these will elevate off so that the stuff doesn't stick to the garbage bag on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and pour it a little bit into this cup so that it doesn't contaminate the brush because I mean just it's like an old little brush. It's got like it's got some stuff in this. I don't want to put it right in there, so Yep. And yeah. So hopefully I don't do this like a freaking spastic and pour it all over the whole thing. Alright, time to paint the hardware. Yep. Uh, you could sand these, and you could also take the label off and get some acetone on there. You know, get all the extra shit off there. But you know, I'm just not gonna do that because I'm lazy. So yeah, time to this matte black finish on there. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Now you know, uh, you know, uh, light coats and you know a couple coats. You know that would help too. But I, I like to lay it on thick because. <laughs> Alright, for finish, I'm using this spar urethane. Now, I know it's not the best uh, option. Subscribe.